सन उन्नीस सौ तीन हवाई जहाज के इन्वेंशन ने बदल दिया दुनिया के आने जाने का तरीका 2022 वेदांतो लॉन्चेस एआई लाइव और ये बदलने वाला है दुनिया के सीखने का तरीका इंटरक्टिव क्लासेस टॉप टीचर्स सिर्फ पांच हजार रुपए सालाना
yeah the cells of the brain are called as the neurons right so <clears throat> moving ahead moving ahead brain is protected by the hard bony skull obviously it is the most important organ of the body it needs lot of protection and it needs to be safe so the brain is protected by a bony structure called as the skull or it is also called as the cranium it is also called as the cranium or it is also called as the brain box right when i talk about the brain the brain is covered with three layers layer 1 the pia mater right layer 2 arachnoid mater and layer 3 the dura mater right so these are the three layers that cover the brain and together i call them as together i call them as meninges they are the layers of the brain between these layers between these layers there is a fluid between these layers there is a fluid called as the cerebrospinal fluid called as the cerebrospinal fluid which maintains fluidity of the brain and it also absorbs any kind of shocks if the brain gets suppose by mistake you just fall and you hit your head to a wall <coughs> so the cerebrospinal fluid absorbs the shock and it does not let any damage happen to the brain the brain is divided into three main parts the entire upper part the entire surface part is called as the cerebrum then you have the cerebellum which is also called the smaller brain and then you have the brain stem consisting of midbrain pons and medulla so what is the cerebrum it is the largest part of the brain made of two hemispheres called as the cerebral hemispheres it controls the working of our eyes ears nose and tongue and it also controls our voice it is the center of intelligence we can think learn remember recall because of the cerebrum so basically it is the voluntary part of the brain it controls all your voluntary activities go pick up a pen go call your friend go watch a movie understand oh it is kgf2 oh it is yash oh it is bahubali right whenever you understand something all the voluntary activities close your eyes or you know yawn all the voluntary activities are controlled by the cerebrum and when i talk about the cerebrum we have got a part of the cerebrum called as the diencephalon which controls hormone production emotions your behavior sleep body temperature eating blood pressure etc and then we have got the midbrain then we have got something called as the midbrain it connects the cerebrum to the cerebellum it connects the cerebrum to the cerebellum now the cerebellum cerebellum is uh, you know it is below the cerebrum it coordinates the actions of the muscles and makes them work together it maintains the body posture so that you are standing straight if you are like this for like for 20 minutes you will feel uncomfortable so the cerebellum tells you that your body is not straight and it has to get back to the straight posture so it controls your body posture along with that your cerebellum does not function properly uh, if your body is not straight and body movements become jerky theek hai when i talk about the brain stem it has got three main parts the midbrain pons and the medulla they control all the involuntary functions like working of the heart working of the stomach working of the lungs etc etc medulla regulates the heartbeat and blood circulation it also controls the movement of the lungs also medulla is the relay center between the spinal cord and the brain theek hai so that was about the nervous system where we learned about the brain cerebrum cerebellum and the brain stem brain stem is your medulla pons and the spinal cord right so we learned about them now we will be also learning in the further sessions about nerves and how do they work the you know the impulse the reflex arc everything will be learning further if you have any doubts about the nervous system you can ask me in the comment section below till then let us solve a couple of questions based on whatever we have 
learnt. The nervous system consists only of the brain, controls the body movement, does not work in thinking or consists of only spinal cord. So the central nervous system is a combination of both the brain and the spinal cord. So my option A and B get discarded because it is not only the brain or only the spinal cord. So I will go with my option B which is controls the body movements. Select the incorrect statement. Brain is the control center of the body. Yes, it is. Brain is protected only by a shock absorbing fluid. Not only but it has got other parts also. It has got the meninges. Largest part of the brain is cerebrum. Yes, it is. Brain, spinal cord and nerves form the nervous system. Yes, it is. So again, I will go with my option B, which tells it is only protected by a shock, a shock absorbing fluid that is cerebrospinal fluid. So no, along with cerebrospinal fluid, there are also meninges that are a part of the protect, protecting body of the brain. Hormone production is controlled by cerebellum, cerebrum, diencephalon or brainstem. Without a doubt, it is the diencephalon. Which part of the brain controls the heartbeat? It is an involuntary function. Heartbeat and the lung function is controlled by the part of the uh, hind brain that is the medulla. Right? Okay. So, this is a question which tells me that refer to the given figure. Which of the given label parts is the center of intelligence and controlling voluntary functions? So intelligence is P, that is cerebral. So my X is P and involuntary actions will be R. So X is P and Y is R. So with that, we come to the end. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience today. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedanta Young Wonders because it's absolutely free of course. And yes guys, share this video with all your friends and, to let, and together let us prepare for the Olympiads and also ace them. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you again. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.